Hey, welcome back. Thanks for joining me for another video. Also trying my hand at 4K video for the first time with this episode. So what I've got here is my Bandai Snowspeeder that I've been having sitting around for a while. So let's open her up here and have a little look. This is a 148 scale model. Still kind of small, um, even though it's 148, but we got the main body here and some of the other parts, of course. And here we have more parts, we've got part of the sides and the uh, canopy for the cockpit. Uh, we have our two pilots here. Then we also have the decals, which I'll be using some of, but some of them will be painting. And we have a photo etch kit that I'll be using along with this as well. And of course, our instructions. So I'm just gonna start out here by uh, working on the cockpit. I'm gonna cut out these side panels for the interior of the cockpit. We have the uh, rear of the cockpit, the seats. We have the front dash of the cockpit, controls. We've got all that cut out here. And I'm also gonna cut out the body so that I can take these parts and just do a dry fit and show how these are gonna fit inside the uh, body of the Snow speeder. So that's basically kind of what we're looking at. We're going to be working on to start with is just this interior portion of the cockpit. So since I've had it out, I've also gone ahead and I've primed the uh, upper and lower portions of the body with my Tamiya fine gray primer. And I'm going to start out with the photo etch working on the cockpit controls. Here we have the front dash. That photo etch piece goes on the front of this piece. You can see how that lines up there. And then I also have this rear control portion for the uh, gunner and this photo etch piece attaches to the front of this here. If I can just hold it the right direction but you'll see how that attaches right there. So the first thing I need to do is I need to shave off all the raised details of this whole panel here so I can attach the photo etch. So I've gone, I've cut that off and I've sanded it down just a touch. And then this photo etch piece right here will just glue right to the front of that. Of course I have to cut out a hole for that screen and behind the screen we have this acetate piece that came with it that has a little bit of text there and you can see the text through here and the little holes for control lighting. So I've gone ahead and I've cut out a hole there for the screen as you can see. Um, also I've cut behind for those little light controls on the side. You can see where that's cut out as well. And then we have this other rear portion here where that control attaches to um, and I'm going to drill some little holes out here for some fiber optics to light up those little switches. So I've gone and I've drilled out some holes inside these switches. Hopefully you can see them. They're quarter millimeters what I have drilled out here. And there's also a hole in the middle for the LED for the controls. Here we have the center console, same thing, I have to cut off and shave this entire front so that the photo etch can be attached. And I have gone and I've sanded it down, cut it down, and also cut out holes for lighting to shine through the photo etch. And here's the photo etch piece, which will just lay nice and flat on top, and you can see through there and the light will come through to light up the photo etch. And again, we have some acetate pieces for this photo etch to make it look like there's a little bit of text and things like that. And then we have our seats. And I've got some photo etch for these as well, so I'm going to cut off these little portions right here, make that smooth so that I can attach this photo etch here for the seats. Uh, it's just the same rib texture, and I've also got some seat belts and some other parts to attach to the seats. So I've gone and I've 
cut out those little areas. Um, it's not pretty, but it'll be covered by the photo etch. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to remove the photo etch here. And then this photo etch, you just kind of bend it a little bit and it curves and fits right into the seat for the seat back. And I've gone ahead and I've glued both of those in place. Realizing now I don't really need to do that because I am using the pilots so I could have kept what was there, but either way. Uh, but now I have these uh, buckles here which go for the uh, seat belts. They go right up here in the top corners. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue all four of those into position on the top corners of the seats. And you can see I've got all four of those glued in place. Then I also have this little control right here, extremely small control that attaches right on the console here, console portion of the seat in the front. You can see how small that little guy is. And I've gone and I have glued that in place right there. And then I also have these two controls here which glue and attach on either side of the seat right here in the front. So with that done, I have gone and I have primed the side panels here. Um, they were black originally. I did a light prime so you can see some of the black shining through already. So it gives it some depth. Um, of course, the front panels primed along with its photo etch. I have this rear with the photo etch primed. And then I have the seat with all of its photo etch pieces attached and I have that all primed. I've also gone and I've done a little bit of a German gray wash over the seat, um, applied some Tamiya soot and mud pastels to dirty it up a little bit, done a little bit of painting on the controls here. I'm not going to light those up, just a little bit of colored controls, but that's all done and ready to go. With this rear panel here, we have the photo etch, we have this acetate. The acetate goes underneath this piece so that when light shines through you will see what's on that acetate. You can see how there's some little text there kind of. And that will be showing up on the screen when light is shining through. You can see a shot of it here in this shot. Um, this is giving me some detail for painting. So I'm going to go ahead and paint this photo etch piece and basically try to paint it similar to that shot we just saw there where the lights on the side have black stripes down on this little portion here I'm painting. And here we have that photo etch painted with the uh, acetate glue to the back. So I've got some clear yellow and clear red to me a paint here. And what I'm going to use those for is I'm going to just put a drop on the back side of some of these little control lights here of yellow and red so that they'll show up colored with the light shining through. And I've also added some diffusion paper to the inside of this here. And then I'm going to be using a 0402 SMD LED, a cool white LED, to light up the uh, inside of that control panel and come through the photo etch. Also attaching a 390 ohm resistor so that I don't fry my LED. And you can see a little test here. You can see how the light shines through and you can see the text on the screen and the yellow and red colored lights on the side. I have that glued in place. And here's a shot of the whole rear panel of the snow speeder and how mine has now turned out with my paint job. And here it is with that panel lit. And then what it's time for me to do is take my 0.25 millimeter fiber optic and I need to run it through the controls on the top of this rear portion. So I've gone ahead and I run the fiber optics through and I'm going to use a red sharpie and just touch the tips of the fibers that are coming through this rear portion and then I'll just pull it the rest of the way through. And then I'll secure the fibers in place using some Elmer's glue. Then I have a three millimeter cool white LED and I have this little piece of shrink tubing here and I'm just gonna slip that over the edge of the LED and that will light up my fibers. Then I will just take the bundle of my fibers that are coming out of that back portion 
and I'll slip them into the shrink tube which will hold them in place in front of that LED. And here we have the rear panel with the red controls lit up above the uh, other control area. Then I need to drill out a little hole in the body here for all those wires and fiber optics to go through. You can see that right here. And then I have the front console. I have these little acetates that go on the sides and those are supposed to be red so I'm gonna take again the red sharpie and I'm just gonna color right on the acetates I colored them red if I shine a light through you'll see how they come through as red now so I've gone and I've attached these acetates to the back side of the photo etch and this piece goes on the front of this one this piece on the front there gives it a little bit of three dimension and then I've glued them in place on the front of the unit and you can see the light on there and you can see how that's red rings there, little dots and some like text or something going on in the center. And then we have the red squares on the right side there. And then I've gone and I've secured three 0402 LEDs inside here and I've used hot glue to hold those in place and filled it in with some hot glue. And I have another screenshot here of the center console that I used for painting reference. So now I'm going to move on to the sides here. Again, I have primed these over the original black plastic. It looks really nice already. There's some nice depth to it you can see here um, already just from the black plastic. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do some other paint work to them as well. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start by doing a German gray wash over a lot of these areas to make it even a bit deeper, pick up some of the depth and highlighting. And I've gone and I've done that on both pieces now. And then what I've done is I've gone and done more painting. Some of the little um, button colors, I've done the cans with some white and I've just done some other shades, a little bit of rust here and there. Uh, a little bit of silver and you can see in these photo references here there's lights along the top portion there on each side there's also a red light in the center so I'm gonna light these side panels up with some fiber optics and I've drilled holes already through the tops of these uh, the center and then down the other side and I've run my 0.25 millimeter fibers into here and again, I have gone and secured my fibers using Elmer's glue. And here's a quick little test with the fibers lit. And I colored the tips again with yellow and red Sharpie. I've also had to prep the inner side of the body. I've done a little routing here with the blade, cut out some portions to make room for the fiber optics. Don't want them to get pinched when I put those side panels in, so this gives them just a little bit of breathing room to slide through there. And I'll go ahead and I'll grab a side panel here and slip it in. And you can see how the fibers just fit through those little shaved groove cutout areas that I've done. And here's how it looks with the uh, fibers lit and just a little sneak of how it looks with the uh, cockpit canopy on as well. And here are both sides lit up with the fiber optics. And I'm going to go ahead and do a full dry fit of the entire cockpit and I'm going to go ahead and do a test and run my wires and fiber optics through for this rear portion here and also run my wires through for the front console of the cockpit. And here we have a test dry fit of the entire cockpit lit up. Looking really nice. I'm very happy with how this is turning out. Um, so with the hard work out of the way, it's time to move on to doing the body and everything else and getting the main paint job done. So I'd like to thank you for joining me for this first episode. And next episode, I should have this model completed. So thanks for watching.
Hey, if you like watching my videos, please feel free to give them a like. And so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos, click subscribe.